Stan Jabalisco here. I'd like to explain the concept of voltage division in a series circuit comprising resistors, a battery, and an ammeter, and also a voltmeter, which uh, we will introduce in a bit. The idea here is that the voltage across each one of these resistors is going to be in direct proportion to its resistance. That is, the voltage is going to be larger across a given resistor when the resistance is greater. This is just a hypothetical example so the numbers work easily. A 6 volt battery, a 1 ohm, 2 ohm, and 3 ohm resistor in series. When they're in series, their resistances add. So the total resistance here is 6 ohms. 6 ohms. 1 plus 2 plus 3. So the current flowing through this circuit, I equals E over R, according to Ohm's law, current in amperes equals voltage in volts, divided by resistance in ohms, <clears throat> in this case the voltage is 6, the resistance is 6, so this is going to show a current of 1 ampere. Now this current is going to be the same at every point in the circuit. So the current through this resistor is 1 amp, the current through this resistor is 1 amp, the current through this resistor is 1 amp, the current through any two of them together is 1 amp, the current here is 1 amp, 1 amp, 1 amp, 1 amp. Everywhere we go, even inside the battery, the current is always going to be 1 amp here because in a series circuit, the current is the same at every point. So what's the voltage across this particular resistor? Well, remember all we need to do is use Ohm's law. Now we're talking about the voltage across the resistor. That's the only way voltage can be defined. So the voltage E equals I times R. Well, we already know I, that's 1 amp. So the voltage across this resistor is going to be 1 volt. 1 volt. 2 ohm resistor. Again, the current 1 amp times 2 ohms gives us a voltage, according to Ohm's law, remember, across this resistor of 2 volts. So if we connect a voltmeter across there, it's going to show 2 volts. If we move that voltmeter so it's only across the 1 ohm resistor, it'll show 1 volt. 3 ohm resistor, again, 1 amp flows through it, so the voltage E equals the current times the resistance according to Ohm's law, 1 amp times 3 ohms, that's 3 volts. Now if we were to move the terminal of this meter over here, so that we were measuring the voltage across the combination of the 2 and 3 ohm resistor in series, we'd get 2 plus 3 or 5 volts. Similarly, if we connected the voltmeter across the 1 and the 2 ohm, uh, 1 and the 2 ohm resistor, yes, we would see 1 volt plus 2 volts equals 3 volts. And if we connected the meter across the whole combination, of course, we'd see the entire 6 volts. That is why in a circuit like that, as long as we don't mess around with the component values, once we start increasing or decreasing any of the individual resistances, we discombobulate the whole circuit. The key to this 
It's simpler than it seems. Ohm's law is the only thing we need to worry about here. We don't need to worry about Kirchhoff's laws. We don't have to worry about conventional versus electron current. All we got to think about is the simple calculations with Ohm's law. That is the concept of voltage division, which is not necessarily a very good word to use. Voltage apportionment might be better. So I hope that clears that up. Stan Jibalisco, signing off.